Okay, let's imagine. It's Saturday evening and the clock shows it is almost 5 p.m. And you are getting ready for the time to come with a new JC and boots ready. All you have to do is waiting for a grab to pick you up with a new determination and enthusiasm. You're headed to the football pitch. Once you are there, you put your boots on and do warms up. Hoping to be called to join them, but it turns out to be disgraced. Huh. You think it's a place for someone who's good at wrestling? Instead of spending time here with nothing, you better go back and get your body fit before you come here, dude. Stepping back and sitting with no hope. That is you. You start thinking that it's just useless realizing how much effort you have put to get your body fit because it sounded humiliation to you. All you got today was just a regret. So that is what we call body shaming. Body shaming happens when someone humiliates a person by saying something negative or making statement about someone's appearance or physical. With our conscious, body shaming includes body type, body size, skin tone, hair, attractiveness, and etc. Let me tell you the truth based on my experience. Some people may think making jokes about people's physical can be played around. They think it's funny. And they think it sounds savage to say the way. It's not. It's definitely not, ladies and gentlemen. Because the world that we are living now has people who are having this kind of disease, which is called mental health problem. Well, body shaming is no joke. Because I've put myself into their shoes and I know how it felt to be a body shaming victim. Since then, I've been following up this issue and the statistics from the Mental Health Foundation in the UK showed in 2018, 20% uh, of adults felt shame, 34% of adults felt down, and 90% of adults felt disgusted. Teenagers had the same problem as it recorded, 37 30, of them felt upset and 31% of them felt shame about their body image. So uh, there are some factors that I strongly believe can affect someone, which are how your families, how your friends, and even how people around you speak about body and appearance with you and your relationship between them. And feeling envious with arrested body through social media, this can be proven by these statistics. 31% of adults said that advertising image had made them feel worried about their body image and 40% of them recorded that um, feeling envious with images on social media had made them feel that had made them feel worried about their body image. To sum up, these figures show us how severe the problem is nowadays. So I, Numan Hakim Spli, will be informing you about what does it mean is a silent killer and how to deal with it. So. Why did I mention body shaming is a silent killer? Because there are a lot of negative impacts that can affect someone, either mentally or physically. When it comes to mentally, when someone is body shamed, they will feel humiliated. They will try to evade from the public. They will isolate themselves from the world because of humiliation felt. By doing so, I believe they can avoid themselves from putting in the same situation that they felt before. As a result, this will then drag them to loneliness and get stuck with depression at last. And this is when social anxiety appears. Because of humiliation facts about their body image, they might not be socialized with people. Because there might have been something that made them triggered before this. So they decide to stay away from people as this will make them feel more comfortable. Furthermore, when they are not confident and feel insecure about themselves, it will lead to lower self-esteem, self-image, as well as self-worth, as they might think they are useless as a human being. For example, uh, looking at only external physical may make them feel they don't have specialty like the others do, just as if they do not have, if they feel they do not have a beautiful face, it will make them feel down. To so for further, when someone prevents from social interaction, it will be associated with a poor quality of life. As a result, not only do they end up being unproductive, but it will also affect their career in the end. 
undeniably, when it triggers mental, it will arouse psych uh, psychological and emotional distress. Um, when uh, the statement is too mean to someone, they will simply or easily get angry and drive to temper. And secondly, body shaming can also affect someone physically. Being body shamed may develop unhealthy eating habits such as anorexia and bulimia. It can occur in two ways, which are eating too much food to gain weight or reducing to eat to lose weight. For example, instead of motivating themselves to lose weight, but negative statements make them feel hopeless and lead to unhealthy eating habit. This can even affect their metabolism and then lead to further weight gain, which then, which then result in higher chances of becoming obese. Once they are fat, it will usually be associated with lazy and unattractiveness. Being lazy will limit their physical activities but contribute to more calories. As a result, it might increase the risk of having high blood pressure, fat disease, as well as high calories. Besides, um, body shame victims are always, are, are always hunted with negative stigmas. Negative stigma, I mean, yes. To get rid of the stigma, they would rather hurt themselves. They will try to improve themselves by making their physical look attractive. So they are willing to get uh, body treatments as well as surgery. But the problem here is it will be worse when the treatments or surgery that they want do not go as planned, which then will take them into the end. Maybe permanent, maybe permanent disability, who knows? So this is what I define or what I mean. Reshaming could be a silent killer for someone. So how do you feel being the issues? You feel stressed and humiliated, right? So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, speaking about the strategies to tackle these problems. So the first strategy is to surround yourself with positive circle. Friends who cultivate positivity such as motivation, kind, encouragement may help us build a positive mindset. By doing so, I believe someone will appreciate their body as it is. And what more important, uh, what more important is they won't judge about someone else's appearance. And the second solution is to avoid from negative self-talk. It can be done by sh shifting our focus to the things that we like the most on our body. If we have a beautiful face, just notice it when people body shame us. And you may also look, uh, you may also look at the things apart from your physical or body offer. It means try to recognize um, internal characteristic or physical traits that you have, just as hidden talents as well as skills and move on to the third approach is take care of our body taking care of our body um, doesn't only contribute to a good health but will also build someone's confidence uh, practicing healthy lifestyle just as doing a regular exercise and eating healthy food are the ways to make it possible the objectives are not only to have a good appearance to have a good appearance but it will also create a good feeling. When, it, when there is a good feeling on the inside, it will reflect on the outside as well, which then will improve someone's confidence. And the last solution is to approach someone that you trust, even though it's hard for you to confront with them. By my advice, it will be better than dealing it by yourself. They might be your own guidance, or you, they might be your own consultant, I mean, uh, for you to express your problems that you have been feeling all, the, all this while. As a result, you might cope with distress and humiliation. So, taking these prevention strategies seriously is extremely important to prevent someone from being infected. To sum up, body shaming could treat someone to worst case and even death. Starting with feeling ashamed, getting stuck with depression, and resulting in a bad quality of life in the end. Sometimes it can make someone unable to control their anger and temper, which then will evoke a hostile vibe. Likewise, people would hurt themselves by getting better treatments to prevent from any judgment. However, those problems can be tackled by surrounding yourself with positive circle. Avoiding from negative self-talk can release from depression. In addition, the level of confidence of someone 
can improve by taking extra care of their body. So that's what I want to share about uh, body shaming. And thank you for paying attention and having your ears. And keep my word. Your value as a human being is more important than what your physical or body have to offer. Thank you once again. Have a good day.